This is a demonstration of Tygo's RSS transmitter with pure signal technology. What we have here is we have three transmitters and they are connected by a comms cable that allows communication between the transmitters and allows them to synchronize. So we're going to take some close-ups here and show it in operation, but as you can see across the top here, we have three power buttons. Those buttons control power to each one of the transmitter units. And then we have two sync buttons. Those sync buttons control whether or not the sync cables or the, the, um, the comms cables are connected between the first one and the second one, that's sync one, and then the second one and the third one, which is sync two. All right, so now we'll do some close-ups and so you can see a little better what uh, some of the components are. Okay, first a, a close-up showing the tops of the units. Uh, here across the top, you see there's power, out and in, all right? So the power is the incoming 12 volt power, of course, positive and negative. And then the out and in are for the comms cables. So what you see here is the unit on the left is going to be our leader. And the leader only has outputs for the comms, okay? So this is normal serial communication. So the out on this unit goes to the in on the next unit. Okay? You can't see the cable because it's hidden behind, but that's, that's what it does. It goes from the out here to the in here. All right? So that makes this one the leader because it only has output. Okay? The middle one is going to be a follower because it has both input and output. Okay? And the output on the second one goes to the input on the third one. So the third one is going to be also a follower. Okay? Now we'll also show some uh, different scenarios on what might happen if one of these um, maybe gets shut off or something like that. But in the normal scheme of things, this is the way it's going to be. We have one leader, which has only out. We have a number of followers that have in and out. And then the very last one in the, as we call it, daisy chain, has only input. Another thing to talk about is the RSS cores. You see here on the bottom how they actually go around the conduit. The conduit is represented by this clear tube. And you see the wire represented inside by a red wire. Now these can all go around the positives of the home runs or the negatives, but not both. All right. And you can also see here how uh, there's, a, there's a white dot on the end of one of these cores. That's showing the polarity of the cores. And there, are, there is a polarity to them. And they all need to be pointing in the same direction. Now, the, um, the cores may also have a white half and a black half. Either way, that shows the polarity. And they need to be all facing the same direction. All right? So that's the cores. Okay, so now we're going to do the interactive part. So I'm going to power up all three transmitters one at a time. Number one, number two, and number three. And so now what you can see is, you can see that the red lights are on on all of three of them. The red light means it's a leader. And since I do not have synchronization turned on yet, each one is independent. And so each one is, is thinking it's a leader, okay? So that's what the red LED means. The green LED is flashing. That indicates when the signal is going out. Okay, so as, as you see, these are not synchronized. The green lights are flashing, not in synchronization. That's not what you want, and that's not what we're, what we, what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the synchronization between the first one and the second one first, okay? So let's turn on that sync. All right, now you see the red LED is gone on the second one. That means that the first one has recognized that it's the leader, and the, the first one is the leader, and the second one is the follower. So we only see one red LED, and we see the green LEDs flashing in synchronization, or in unison, okay? So now we're gonna turn on the synchronization to the third one, all right? And once again, you only see one red LED, and three of them now are all flashing in unison. That means they're all synchronized. That's the, the, the special thing about pure signal technology. Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing. Now notice that we still have all three synchronized. So the first one is the leader and the other two are followers and the green lights are flashing in unison. Now what happens if, for example, one of them loses power? So let's turn off the power on number two and see what happens. Notice that the others have actually assumed the leader role. 
okay? So they're designed to be able to do that, but you don't wanna have that situation exist for a long period of time if there's a possibility for crosstalk between uh, the one that's off and the ones that are on, okay? Uh, so we'll talk about that more. And now that I turn the power back on on number two, you can see they're all in sync again.